What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering. A little further from the mic today, I'm still nursing a badly injured foot and ankle. It's uh, tough getting old out there. Uh, sometimes that that six foot retaining wall you're just gonna leap off of because you know you've always done it that way. <laughs> sometimes it just hits a little different when you're in your 40s. But um, this is an excellent story. I just wanted to share because it's just it's hilarious. It is yet another uh, entitled brat who's now claiming that they're homeless after getting kicked out of one of their wild uh, woke college encampments. Uh, while um, turns out that it's some rich kid uh, who's definitely not homeless, homeless because these people are all liars. Look, as I've said before, and I'll say again, I've got no dog in this fight. I don't care about Israel. I don't care about Palestine. I care about American citizens. I care about the problems we have in America. And it's pretty straightforward. These kids are allowed to protest should they want, uh, uh, you know, as long as they do so peacefully. Problem is many of them don't. University of Penn or Penn State, you Penn student, Ilanya don't care, who claimed that she was, quote, homeless after being kicked off campus over anti-Israel camps is in fact the daughter of a wealthy Filipino TV star whose family flaunts extravagant lifestyle on Instagram. I mean, could it have turned out any differently? Literally, could this have turned out any differently? One of the ringleaders of the anti-Israel protest that took place in the University of Pennsylvania revealed that she was, quote, left homeless after being removed from campus in her role in the anarchy. Ilania Don't Care, who calls herself a climate activist and community organizer, made the claims in an interview with the Philadelphia Inquirer. The sophomore made similar comments in another interview in NBC for NBC Philadelphia. Protests have engulfed the college campuses across the United States. I wouldn't say that. I'd say maybe a dozen. You know, maybe there are more than are getting the television coverage, but it's basically only super rich kids that are involved in this. And that's, you know, ultimately um, not surprising to me. Kids that are paying their own tuition are going to class. Kids who are on student loans are going to class. Kids who have parents involved in their life are going to class. It's the rich, entitled elite class, future elites. They're the ones that have time to build little rust encampments and little LARPs on college campuses. And again, I don't care. Just because they have a bunch of money, that doesn't mean they're not allowed to protest. Again, just as long as they do so lawfully. You don't see me making fun of people who are picketing. You don't see me making fun, unless maybe they're Hollywood writers. <laughs> I mean, but come on, I'm only human. That's fine. Again, I don't, I don't really care about either side of the, this uh, engagement. I think it's all a, about fleecing American taxpayers for the most part. Um, but what I do think is funny and what should be made fun of is fake LARPers who claim to now be homeless, but instead they're actually multimillionaires. The Filipino native told the newspaper that she was stopped from going to her dorm as her student ID was turned off after being ordered on mandatory leave. I'm the only one made homeless by this. Wow, you're just like those those dead Palestinian children you're protesting for, right? Put yourself up on the cross with them. Everything's the same. You're basically like a little Malcolm uh, X, little uh, little uh, Martin Luther K Queen, right? The student added that her family is all in the Philippines. Since that interview, it's been revealed that the student is actually a member of a wealthy, prominent highly politically connected family in her homeland. Perhaps you should go there. Gadzooks. Okay, maybe stay. Um, oh, maybe don't stay. This is a wide variety of, you know, pictures here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, th so all these clowns are essentially just LARPers. Again, they're not the ones that ruin their lives with suspensions or ruin their lives getting arrested and having a criminal record. They're rich. They were. They never were putting anything up. They were never risking anything. They're there on purpose. That's their job. Her father, Kim, is better known as Don't Care in the Philippines, where he's a well-known television talk show host. 
Kim shares his opulent lifestyle on social media, posting a video showing him enjoying his caviar in first-class flight, reports the Washington Free Beacon. In another interview on his Instagram, it shows off his impressive collection of motorcycles. The daughter, his grandfather, is another whatever, I don't care, Lito Atinza, a prominent politician who served as a deputy speaker in the country's House of Representatives who also ran for the vice presidential candidate alongside Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao, arguably the most famous Filipino of all time. And noted homophobe. <laughs> then you add that? Like, I don't care. I mean, like, what? The, the nonsense around, again, these LARPers, I just can't, I can't point out enough. You know, I can't mention it enough how these people are all fake. There are people, to be clear, who are genuinely down for the cause, okay? But they're not the ones taking Instagram photos. They're not, what was the other one? Was it Ilian Omar? No, that's the one that married her cousin or whatever. This other one who's like doing uh, TV interviews saying they got chemical weapons sprayed on them when it was uh, Spencer's Gifts fart spray. Remember that idiot? Uh, another rich kid. All these ones, like, there are genuine people out there who probably actually genuinely care about what's going on over there, but they're not the ones you're seeing on TV. They're not the ones who suddenly give a damn uh, a week before finals. Okay. The pair finished a distant third to Ferdinand, Ferdinand Bong Bong Marcos Jr. In July, 2022, they welcomed television cameras into their home. I mean, this is just an ins she's just doing it for Instagram clicks and for clout. University of Penn student left homeless after she was suspended over anti-Israel camp comes from, in fact, a wealthy family who boasts lavish lifestyle. I mean, these college protests are the an exercise in futility. Um, again, again, I feel like I have to keep mentioning this. You're welcome to do it. All I ask is, you know, uh, you know, all I ask is that you do it peacefully. And I think anybody, even people who are down for the cause, like I interviewed Jimmy Dore yesterday. I suspect Jimmy Dore would also agree and say, like, hey, just you know, don't get yourself arrested. Uh, but there's also a reason that the government, uh, <laughs> the government is in fact squashing these uprisings very quickly. You want to know why? It's bad for Biden. That's right. While Joe Biden was refunding most of these LARPers college educations or college funds, this has been uh, taking his polls. You see, former Portland State professor calls it poetic to watch college campuses burn amid anti-Israel protests. That are Peter Bogosian said college campuses burning to the ground is a natural consequence of what's been happening. Well, I mean, they've essentially been radicalizing a lot of students. Again, this isn't happening, you know, just so we're clear. This is not happening at uh, HVAC school. This isn't happening at, um, you know, uh, you know, normal, any normal place where people are getting actual meaningful degrees. This is happening at high concentrations of extraordinarily wealthy, upper class, bourgeoisie, champagne socialists it's uh, where they exist like that's that's the reality of it you know and just talk to any you know person who survived communism you can see when i came back from nam in 1968 i entered a public university but did not find my college work overly demanded it was still no, demanding it was still no cakewalk I did quite a bit of effort to satisfy requirements for graduation which i did four years later while i became while i was in college i also became employed as a police officer. like um, these are things that like people did with their college. In my work, I'm beginning to see the produce of the current educational system. They, str uh, they struggle and they are unlikely to survive. They don't want to work, can't do many basic business tasks and want to be paid for doing nothing. Well, here's the reality, you know, here's a harsh reality. Maybe I'm wrong, but, uh, you know, this very same people who are screaming for open borders, they're going to be the ones that are replaced by these immigrants because they're not learning any real hard sciences. They're not learning any real skills. 
all they're doing is learning how to, you know, take Instagram photos and pretend to be, you know, little mini Che Guevara's, right? All, you know, the family enjoys flaunting their wealth on social media. By the way, there's nothing more cringe than that, you know, flaunting wealth. It's okay to have money. It's okay to earn, you know, earn your peak, earn your keep, but let's not pretend you're suffering. Let's not pretend this broad isn't going to go home. Her college degree is completely irrelevant. You know, like whether or not she's getting any degree is irrelevant. Maybe go back to the Philippines, right? You come over to America, not the Philippines to protest. I wonder why that is, right? Go back to the Philippines and protest for uh, Palestine there, you know, instead of taking a spot from a student who might actually want to get an education. Again, like I said, you're welcome to protest as, as long as you do it legally, as long as you do it um, peacefully. You see, all this campus craziness is solely for likes and views. None of this is real. Not one of them even knows what's really happening anywhere in the world, and yet they all have an opinion. Yeah, that's true. I just saw a, a story yesterday or late last night where there's like 500 metric or 700 metric tons or something of aid that was sent to Gaza that never made it to the citizens. What was in those containers? Was it empty? Was there any sent in the first place? Who took all that? That's a lot of stuff to move around and put in your pocket. I don't know. You know, like, I don't, I mean, I don't even know what's going on. That's why I'm also not trying to destroy my life pretending like I do. It's all a mess. It's all for optics. It's all for cosplay activists. They're the best. You see this. Lexus liberals, champagne socialists. They're all the same thing. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.